Afternoon cactus people. It's a rainy afternoon and if you join me now we'll have a little look at this Lophophora. It's um, Lophophora jordaniana which is from the collection of the, the late John Goggins. Now I've no idea how old this one is and uh, to give you a slight clue the, um, the actual plastic pot it's in is on its last legs it seems to be falling apart um, no other clue from the label apart from the fact it's broken off at the top there's a um, manufacturer growers name on the back Croston Cactus which I haven't looked up yet it's got a website there as well so maybe I can get an idea of the date from that but uh, <coughs> what I do know is this is a rather slow growing cactus. Um, here's some I grew from seed and these, if you can see them there, are um, about two years old, just over now. Uh, they've taken that long to get to that size. Uh, my first temptation with something like this would be to um, have a good scrape around in here to see if there's any old seeds, but I really don't want to um, spoil the look of the clump. So I think we'll leave that, and if it produces seeds at a later stage, that would be later stage. That'll be great. <coughs> but in the meantime, I'm going to uh, repot it into a bigger pot. Now these have got um, a tap root, or should have a tap root. So uh, I've got a slightly larger pot. This one, the pot is starting to um, <coughs> get pushed out of shape. And if I can help it out from the bottom. Ooh, it's been in there for quite a while. It might be a better idea to actually break the pot if it's possible. Have a little go. Yes, it is possible. <coughs> it's got some nice grit on the top. Oh, it's not too root bound in there. That's one thing. There we go. We can get him out now. Oh, in fact, it's not very deeply rooted at all. Now, half of that um, is not actually going down into it. Uh, we can just clean the uh, old compost off and see what sort of roots we got there. Yeah, that uh, it looked like two or three plants, but it's not. It's just. Uh, it's one plant just on one tap root there. So it's probably best that I left it whole and not try to split it up. So yeah, that's looking good. You can't see any nasties on the roots there. So that's fine. You can see if I hold it up to the camera a bit more. Nice chunky root there. And several layers of uh, growth there, the annular rings as it gets older each year. So um, I would guess 10 to 20 years, I don't know. Maybe one of the other growers can uh, fill me in on that one because uh, this is the most mature one I've ever had. I'll say I've only ever grown these few from seed before. So and Anyway, that's that bit and the bottom chosen to put it in is this nice one which Mrs. Ziggs bought for um, an Apuntia a few years ago which has now outgrown the pot but it's a lovely pot so we're going to use that somewhere. <coughs> a couple of bits of uh, broken pot to put in the bottom. Put him down for a second. Um, the seedlings I've grown I've put into a mineral soil. Now I've not got any mineral soil handy so I've just used a, a very gritty compost. It's uh, about 50% grit and just my homemade compost on that. So uh, I measured it out. There's enough to fill the entire pot here. And seeing as that's only got a small tap root I'm going to put most of this in here. Should be about right here. Um, if I can hold him there, these things aren't prickly. And 
just carefully fill around the edges. And I won't water this for a, a week or so in case I've damaged any of the roots. I don't think I did, but just to be on the safe side. That, that's just right. And being a lovely specimen, <coughs> I think it deserves some nice grit. So I've got some, um, some granite chippings to go around the top to dress it. And these are pretty neutral, so it shouldn't affect the pH one way or another. Seems to be just right. And that's lovely. So there we go. Just a lovely specimen. I'm very pleased to have this one. And I've made a a new label because the old, old one's falling apart. And uh, we're starting a new tradition. I'm going to put the uh, time which is 1726 so future generations will know exactly what time this was repotted there we go thank you very much for watching everyone